Okay. All my lovely lawn ornaments. It is 3.28 on this the 14th day of uh, April 2021. And I am the Grumpy Game Dev. And this is the Freebooter of Splore. So the jam for me is now completely over. I have rated all of the other games that I can rate. And so now what we do is we carry on with uh, refact. We're, I've been off stream refactoring uh, my jam entry. Let's close you out. Close you. Okay. And so I haven't added, any, added anything new. Ooh, let me get some head of my phone. Uh, I've only been improving. Well, okay. Making the code more reasonable. I've been working to make the code more reasonable and working towards some things. Um, the chief of which has been... Um, Let's see what we got here. What have we got? Black Mage, good to see you. <sighs> so the thing I'm working towards now is all of the all of the static data for the game was static data in CPP files, and now I'm putting it into uh, a single static. Um, one of, one of these things, the, J, the N. Loman JSON thing, so that it's working with the JSON data so that when I decide, when it's all through and everything's in there, I can just say save on that, um, I can just save that JSON file and load that JSON file, and then we'd finally, we'll finally have a save and load mechanism. Not, not... <laughs> Not necessarily that this game is long enough that it requires a save and load mechanism. But it's also just good to practice what I wanted to do here. So I have now a get avatar inventory that gets it from the from the avatar. So here's the thing that is, this is where you save all your avatar inventory. But previously I have, oh hey, here's this thing. This is the structure it would save it in and it's got all kinds of this stuff going on here. So I think what I want to do Right, and that's and that's the thing. Is like, okay, well now I've got a basis for this is what a level slash world looks like, and then I can it, it can it can extend from there, and it's the right place to put it, really, because every all all of my data is stored in a JSON file. All right, so one of the things I want to do is have a static std string uh, value item to is that what I want now? I, I guess I do item to string. Uh, let's not put it there. Let's let's cause that to repeat itself later. And do I have a string stream? I need a string stream. So in this case, I want to go, if I can find the item, then which this is the read. Well, you have to have a data store of some kind. 
and you want to pick a well-supported data store. And for what I was doing, I had basically two choices. No, oh, sorry, two choices. If I do this, if I do this, I'm, I'm, I'm making a, I'm making a sign at you. But if I do this, two, two, um, um, I can either use SQLite or I can use JSON. Or I suppose you could also say XML, but it's 2020. Who uses XML? And really, JSON is just like XML. Not quite, but kind of like XML as far as what kind of data it can represent. It's okay. Here we go, std string stream ss ss int item. Okay, so now more or less this is so if uh, git avatar well, let's do a auto inventory equal to git avatar inventory if inventory count uh, ss stir greater uh, zero then do something else return zero. Okay. Now uh, return inventory of SS stir. And that makes it the equivalent code to this. Can't test it yet because there won't ever be any item in those things. So right on. So we'll we'll be testing this all together. Now this one. So I'm really I'm getting rid of avatar inventory. All right. Reset. This, I'm going to need one of these, and what I'm going to do and T results, and we're going to return no, 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 hmm, 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 hmm. This is not a that's interesting. That's interesting. I need to return an entire thing. So game.avatar.item. So I need to create an entire map of these things. So that's going to make a copy. That's okay. So we're gonna have to have here's a that thing result return result. All right. Ah. Auto. Um, in uh, get avatar inventory dot items and say item dot key that's a string so I'm going to need utility in order to 
convert that. Because that's where I put my string to in function. There are other string to in functions, but this is where I put it. String. Um, that's an int, and then I'm going to convert that to a game item. I'm going to say result of that equals item dot value. So then that should go through all the items and in each one it grabs that's the key and that's the value of the key. So for this one, I say get avatar items clear and then for auto item in initial I say to that is there a right do I have a right Just put the add okay I can actually do this as an add add item dot first item dot second so that's cool I can push that off onto here is there a right there's not a right is there no this one kind of is the right so Okay, so I want to quick fix this whole SS thing. Static STB string um, item to key. And you are game item. Take you, put you here, and I'll return you right here. So it's a stir, it puts all that into one place. Um, I'll say I will just go uh, auto item key is item to key. Item. You are item key. We don't have to care how you are constructed in the slightest. But so, now we have item key. Boom, boom, boom. Item key. So, get to our inventory of the item key. equals read item plus amount okay so that's cool okay and then this is the last one and removing is the most complex removing is the most complex <laughs> so if um, suppose if well, let's let's get quantity so auto quantity equals read item okay so we're gonna have up int current quantity. 
So if the current quantity is greater than zero, so we call it total. That's what we call it. Greater than the total, then the quantity is a total, and we're going to get avatar inventory erase item to key of item. Otherwise, it's this one. And that's item to key. X, we'll just do an auto item key equals that. Put item key right in here. It's going to be minus quantity. So now I have gotten rid of all the places where avatar inventory exists in this code. We're going to see if it builds. And then we're going to see if it works. It might not. Okay, there's some things it doesn't much like. Okay, so there's auto inventory. Doesn't look care for that. Okay, let's see if it works. How will we know if it works? We will know that it works if it doesn't blow up as I generate stuff. And if I go over to my inventory and I see some, and I don't see it. And that's gonna be all that is, items. Oh, you know what? Because what is items? It is an object. That ain't gonna, that ain't gonna work at all. So actually, I wind up needing interesting. All right, so that's me screwing it up from before. Include a stream. See, string, stream. SS, SS, int, item. SS, stir. Okay, so I have, oh, I did not, so I don't see anything here, okay. So, it's super broke. Let's see, does does this happen? Is it just a problem of when we're reading this stuff out? Because it might be. Oh, 
<sighs> Let's reset. Okay. So we got that, we got initial, it's F11 into you, we got whichever the item is, that item is food, and the amount is 5. If the amount is greater than 0, item key is item to key, so that's a 0. Getting the avatar thing, I'm going to read the item, okay, so we have a 0. And I want to get it here and take get avatar inventory. So the next time I get in here, it's like, okay, here's avatar. What's in avatar? Avatar has an object, an object called inventory, which has another object in it called zero. And it has a value of five okay so cool all right so it is being stored correctly is there any time when this is going on though Funk, funk. So here, in when I'm when I'm reading out the inventory, let's take a look at state in play avatar inventory. Copy use item on command on update. It's not on update. Update is in my avatar inventory graphics avatar inventory, right? Let's take a look right here. When we're drawing it, we know that there's something in here. So we know that there's an avatar, could be in the all, right? So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna go here. So going to the all, so here's the result. Here's items, all right. So result has nothing in it. What's an item? Item says that your key is that what's in result? Result has a size of one. It does. So it's got a okay, so it's so it's reading that out correctly. Inventory has things. All right, it's inventory index. That's zero. It's fine. Okay. There's nothing in it. Do I? Do I okay. So is get name our problem? Could be. That's right. So it's so so it's this is an empty string at this point. Okay. So then it's over here really that our problem is. Oh. 
from what is items? Items is an object type. Value type. Zero through five. What is in SS? Zero. So let's take it a little the auto item key is ss dot stir auto uh, item equals items at item key so I want to see a little bit be okay. Oh. That can't be a thing. That's a problem. Alright. Game.items. Nope. Oh, it's a string. Copy the string. That's what you're doing. See how it builds. Yeah, I don't want to do that exactly. Go to item one. So we'll call you item record. Just to give you a better name than item one. Item one is no good. What's going on? Where are we is? How are you today? I'm endlessly refactoring code post jam. The jam, um, I've gone through all the jam games, and uh, the voting ends in well, uh, it ends in the voting ends in thirteen hours. And then we'll find out that um, yeah, let's see the my guess, yeah, one of these two, <laughs> this one or this one will win. But so now I'm endlessly refactoring code because um, it needed it because it added a bunch of features. We'll start a new game. Okay, what is item record? Item record is a thing. 11. Nope, don't need that. Still no. Uh, so it's an SS, it's nothing. Now I've got stuff. Okay, and so we have found it. Found our problem. We're having references. I don't think it's going to be like a runaway kind of thing. It's because it's not. There's it's it's a, it's a pretty competitive field, but the ones that uh, certainly look the nicest and are the, have the most polish are those. But I could, of course, be totally wrong. Okay. Oh, perfect. Wonderful. Yay, stuff. Okay, so now I got my. I now have my uh, inventory completely in the data store. 
is now completely in the data store. Well, but there's one thing I wanted to make sure of. Go over to inventory. I want to eat all my food and it goes away. I want to drink all my potions and they go away. Okay, so that's that is uh, that's all I wanted to make sure of. So now I've been thinking about certain quality of life features. Features. Um, and I don't know if I want them yet. I'm just I'm just putting them out there. Like, uh, don't eat food if hunger is at 100. Don't drink potion if health is at 100. Uh, we'll call it max because I don't know. Whatever. Don't do that. So, little bitty guardrails on stuff like that. Um... Appearance. Hunger bar and health bar instead of text. Cause I think that's that's a thing instead. Cause I think I do things I can I can shake it shake it when it is low. Um, I can change the flash, I'll change colors to alert when, when high and low. I can do those things and save things for a health bar. So that's, that's just a thing to go, oh, all right. Um, so that's good stuff oh, good there's an update I'm not going to bother with right now alright so now I did game.avatar.item so game.avatar.statistic And this one I've already done the treatment for. This this right here. Okay, so I'm going to start uh, looking at some tactical things. So the items to config files, which I'm on the way for. Um, avatar, statistic, minimum, maximum, Initial values to config file. Get that in there. <clears throat> so this one is kind of a goofy thing. So, all right, I'm going to start just making the notes in here. That's correct. It's a combat deck. So, where's the combat hand? So, wait, the combat deck. Where we got all that stuff. Yeah, you know what? This um, the the to do move this to combat deck. This doesn't belong here. To do move this to avatar statistics. Same thing here. This is not. Resolve. So 
and this one separates a lot of things this one has um, yeah, this one should have a what is the resolution it's just there's there's like a need to determine what is the resolution to do make an enum for the type of resolution and make the uh, resolution determination function exit in combat combat deck because yeah, we have because we have different outcomes here we have killed the monster hit the monster missed the monster and then we have Oh yeah, wait. Uh, or it's okay. This one is you guessed correctly, and then you either killed him, you hit him, or you did no damage, or you got hit yourself, or you blocked it yourself. Uh huh. Or. When does this ever happen? If there's no guess. Oh, 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 oh. Hmm. No, I don't do this anymore. Does this need to be optional? Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm, hmm. Okay. Does this happen? I don't think it does. Oh no, it does. Okay, this happens when you run. But you know what that means. Ooh, you know what that means though. <laughs> he gets his full attack on you. Ooh, okay. There's a bug. Uh, this happens when you run. And it does full damage without the benefit of defense, of the defend attribute. Now, okay, wait, is that really a bug? So let's think about it. We've got, um, We guessed correctly, we guessed incorrectly, or we were trying to run away so we didn't guess, so he takes a whack at us. One thing that is true is to do sound effect. And actually, that one I can take care of. That's going to be the hit hunter sound effect. Let's put that in. One thing that should certainly happen is you get hit. So, when this happens, but you get no benefit of your defend. That seems okay to me. But it, it leads me to a, okay, well, what can I do to... We're gonna be. We're actually going to be okay with this, we, but we do want it to have a sound. So now, let's make ourselves a. Um, 
Phenom class combat result. Okay. Killed monster. Hit monster. Missed. Which isn't, or it's really. We'll call you monster killed. Monster hit. Monster blocked. Or. And we got um, Hunter hit. Hunter blocked. Over. Over. What do we got? We got uh, Hunter ran. Hunter ran. Right. So. If I take my static um, combat result, determine result of an optional guess, right? And we take what is more or less what's going on here what I'm what I'm, what I'm attempting to decouple here because I want this to have all this stuff happens what I don't want it to do is I don't want it to play I don't want to have this impact. This is return combat result monster killed. Monster hit. And this one is return combat result monster blocked I got hit and so these are we're going to return combat result I uh, was hunter was hit Locked. Let's see. I'm totally okay with this. Return combat result. Hunter ran. Okay. So now, determine result has nothing to do has to do with game state, but has nothing to do with the presentation layer of the sounds. Because that was this was all mixed together like that, and I didn't care for that one bit. So now I switch on um, what's the name of the function? It's called determine result. Result of the guess. And we have these things. Case. Okay. 
up. That's right, we have to do combat result colon colon. Yes, sir. And pa -pow. We're going to break after each of them, although I suspect. Okay, so the monster, when the, when the monster's killed, we go like so. When other monsters hit, uh, we do that. When we missed the monster, We do that when you got hit. Hunter monster, the, the guy blocked. And then the last one is. You do this thing here. So if this works, and I believe it might, so if this works, then we've got separate logic for well, what happened in the combat versus how do I resp how do I give some sort of feedback to the user as far as what happened with the combat. So that's good. So that's a separation. But first, let's see that it builds. Let's see that it works. Oh. Okay, it builds. Let's see if it works. Okay, we. Long and we'll get higher. It, it did hit me. I killed it. And so that appears to be working at least as far as those couple of cases where it does the right thing. But now, but now, there is a little bit more that I can do because as you can probably see, in in this there's a there's a mapping from a combat result to a string that gets displayed to the player and a sound that gets played to the player with the exception of ran but that's because i think if we go hunter ran and I don't have such a thing, so how about, I, how about I put that in there? I don't just go like this. Equals you ran. You att or you attempted to run. I don't know what goes on. So let's actually test that out because that's something. So that was like that was a gap. So, ooh, look at all the stuff. Can't find a monster to fight when you're trying to run away. There we go. So. Okay, so it never gets me to that screen anyway, so it doesn't even really matter what those, uh, what that text is. So it doesn't matter. But that doesn't mean it doesn't change. But so we have this. It's a it's a it's a switch case. 
And we don't want that. Believe it or not, we do not want that. What we want is a static STD map of combat result to, I don't have to bring in tuple. To a result to a tuple. STD string to STD string. Yeah. Uh, result. Resolutions equals. So this entry is combat result monster killed and becomes a kill monster and application sounds dead monster okay so and then I need one two three four five six I need six of these Get. Oh, we gotta get. We gotta get our commas in here. Commas. So hit most blocked. Uh, hunter hit. Nope, oh, not that one. That one. Hunter hit. Hunter blocked. And Hunter ran. Oh, nope. Hunter ran. Oh, come on. Really? Alright, there we go. Now, when the monster is hit, the text is hit monster, and that one is also called hit monster. When the monster blocks, we call it missed monster, which is a stupid name. And the hit blocked. So things are inconsistently named for sure. Got hit. Well, that's clever. And hit hunter. We're getting a little bit closer. And hunter blocked. We have blocked hit. And we have hit blocked. We have hunter ran. And we have, and we play Hit Hunter. Okay. So now we've taken these lines of code and condensed them into a declarative collection of data right here. And actually, this can be const. That can be const. So instead of these lines of code, I can say auto result equals determine guess, determine result of the guess, right? And then I can say auto, um, I don't know what to call it yet, stuff equals resolutions of result, right? Right. Up. Oh, Got to do a dot find. Dot find. And what is what does that make stuff? Stuff is a const iterator. If instead, I go stuff is now a pair. We'll do this. Second, because there's going to be a thing here. So here's stuff. What is stuff? I'll do auto. Here's stuff. What is stuff? Stuff is a tuple of the things. Result is only used in this one place. 
so I don't really see a need to have an extra local variable. What we do here is get rid of all of that code. Let me, let me grab two of these things. Let me just grab these two. Okay, get rid of that comment now. So, what we want to do is we want to say std get zero stuff. And std get one stuff. Okay, so we'll call this details. We we'll call it resolution. Is we're gonna find that and do that. And so now we have separated out the determination of this result from the stuff that deals with with this and so what I start to start to realize here as well we didn't stuff we got the stuff the stuff has been got so now this is better but it's still there's th plenty of things in the wrong place because setting the combat result text is is all fine but this is these are side effect these are both just side effects And so perhaps the place where this happens is in um, somewhere else, but maybe not. I'm not sure. This one goes, hey, here's a thing. But this is this one is also very imperative because it does stuff. It doesn't just determine a result. Um, hmm. Well, depends on what your what your what your meaning of determine is. Badly named. Well, really, this is not. Well, no, no. Okay. That goes, that's not good place. Is this a place of game.combat? This belongs here. This belongs here. Um, per, ah, aha. Uh -huh. So, perhaps this returns this. So, who calls this? So in play combat, okay, see, so maybe right here is a good place. So maybe this is a good place to do the, the stuff. So this uh, gets moved into state in play combat. This returns the tuple and the uh, text update and the sound playing moves to state, uh, what was it? it 
state in play combat. So that's so that's where this 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 stuff gets pushed out of here, and this stuff deals only with uh, things inside of game. So game does not reach out to playing sound effect. And then yeah, this would go, this moves move to state in play combat. So all this stuff. All that junk moves there. This does this advances stuff within the game. Game is correct. Combat deck, it can modify that. That's fine. And yeah, this moves to avatar statistics. So does that, but this stuff. Okay. All right. I now have some notes. Some notes on how this should move along. Uh, did I start it or no? Did I, hold on. Did I start and your rewards, channel points. Oh, I have to, okay, go. Go. <laughs> There you go. And of course, when when that happens, then we'll switch to using something based on this engine, right? And uh, and as with most things uh, anymore, I'm pretty sure after the Dungeon Color Jam that whatever project I have is blah, 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 but it's a dungeon crawler. Because that seems to be... I think I found... I think I've found my, my, my niche to code in. And more importantly, the community over there on the Discord who appreciate the thing. So let's go here. So static void do resolution. We'll just call it resolve combat, right? Resolve combat. Yeah, they're they're pretty open with uh, whatever. And you know what? You could probably help some of the some of the guys with some some level stuff if that was if that was an interest you had. So all I wind up doing here is I'm wrapping my function call with one other something. You know where to find it? You need a link. It's, it's 
right there on it's right there on the overview page Yeah, if you go to the if you go to the DC Jam, so, so I think we still have Jam, or DC Jam. Yeah, on that page, a little bit, a little bit halfway down, there's the Discord link because and making it easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to resolve combat by calling this resolve. But now what I'm going to do, wait, have I, have I committed? I have to commit at this point. I have uh, reorganized my code so that combat results are separated, rated from their side effects. So I go over here into combat and what I want to do here, let's go to, and let's move, let's move tuple. And we're gonna include string because we need that. Okay, tuple. Or no, we don't. No, no, no. That is not what we're doing here. We need combat results. That whole thing. This is the part that's in the domain, is what happened. Resolve. So really my resolve function becomes that this is resolve. It is badly named, but not badly named anymore because now it actually does the resolution. So now all this stuff X, that's going to go over here. And I think you wind up being called Resolve Combat. Okay, so these are now game. I think it's called combat. Combat result. Okay, so that one's that one's redundant. Redundant name is redundant. But I'd rather have a redundant name than an unclear name. And you are resolved. Okay, so you go. I have no idea what that is. So all of this stuff. Goes over into here, I think. Which now we've got, which means I need a reference to graphics texts. Graphics texts. 
Okay, what's your problem here? Now we're just going to say set combat result text. Boom, that is the side effect, but we're in the place of side effects. And we appear to have built a thing. Let's see if it works. Oh, we got all kinds of problems. Redefinition. Okay, so this is combat result. Here we go. Combat result. Eh. Okay. So now it's going to. That result. Okay. Where is my okay? So combat result underscore. Okay, how are we going to look here? How are we doing? Okay, it builds. Yay for that. What does... Let's do it. Does everything work? Oh, nope. It doesn't. Oh, not layout name. It's combat result layout name. Oh, okay, that's going to fix it. I got it. Which means, though, that this stuff. This stuff might all go into there. Perhaps instead, because this stuff has to do with that layout, I think maybe there's, um, hmm, 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 hmm. I don't know, but in any case, it is out of the game dot combat. So that's a step in the correct direction. So let's start moving out these other things. Okay, so we've got combat decks. Let's go as guess correct. Let's have that in there. Wait, do I need do I need to check it in? I do need to check it in. Okay, moved out out the side effects to the game state for combat. Boom. Yes, please. So is guess correct moves to combat deck. So game dot combat deck. Oh, but so we need guess. Game dot kind of uh, so this is 
So now, some things are going to get broke. Not combat game, not combat. You're out of here and you're in game.combat deck.cpp. I've already done that. I don't think I need. Right on. So now we're going to find out all the places that we broke. Optional guess, you are going to be, um, a game dot combat deck. Game combat deck. Guess. What do man? Okay, let's get let's get through this and see how much we hate it. Let's say game combat deck. Yes. And is guess correct? <sighs> Deck. Okay, so looking for is guess correct. Combat deck is guess correct. Up, cause combat game combat deck is guess correct. Should not be static. It should not. And then uh, we build. And we check. Check does it work? Okay, uh, so lower. Okay, got him. Higher. Okay, that works. Okay, moved. Is guess correct into combat deck? Combat deck. And you that combat close others. Close all but this. Bad combat deck deal. <clears throat> so yeah, combat kinda does <sighs> oh. So let's bring these over to avatar statistics, right? And take you out completely. I'm gonna move you over. It's so tra traumatic, traumatic code. Then rip it out. So throw it over here. Make it not static. And then there's the. So there's a do attack timer and a do defend timer in the header file. Do attack timer and we'll do defend timer. So now we got all that. Uh, 
Well, that's very particular to this sort of thing. So now we're now we're broken. Now we're broken and traumatic. We have traumatized our code. Small avatar. Avatar statistics. Do that. Okay, so that's fine. So we put that here, and then is that it? Okay. In order to make this work, I'm going to have to actually like. <clears throat> Food bread. All right, let's get some coffee. All right, I gotta get the sound turned off. So we're gonna get lower. Uh, God, I, of course. When I'm trying to get hit. Wait, no, I haven't. Uh, hold on. Uh, drink the coffee. It gets higher. I did did not get defended. Okay, what's going on here? So that's what's it's higher. It's higher. I am not getting this called. So wait a minute. Haha. Uh -huh. Before Haha. Uh -huh. Alright. Well this this is relatively straightforward. This goes up here. And this goes up here. Oh good, got food, potions, wine, jewels, we'll drink some wine. So we're gonna... So this should... Okay, there's my defend timer. Right. I'm gonna guess higher and that should get down. Alright, great. Works works See, this is practically the same code it's like doing just doing a timer and what is it a timer for that can this can be refactored okay and so game dot combat is now just has resolve what <laughs> it's two functions now it has resolve and advance so that's what combat does Okay, moving on. Game combat is refactored. I wanted to take a look just briefly 
at game combat deck. So it does a couple of things. It has current card, next card, it deals and grabs the sprite for the card, which makes which makes sense after a fashion. No. <clears throat> No, this to do goes into graphics dot card sprites, which doesn't exist yet. Oh, okay. I, I guess we're... Oh, it's... No, it's, uh, it's a fine thing to do right now because it's a relatively small refactor. So, we're going to do it. Because that doesn't really belong. This combat deck deals with cards. It doesn't deal with sprites. We're going to make card sprites. Add new item. Dot H. Okay, and name space graphics third sprites and I need we'll just call it what it currently is, right? And so we're going to need uh, a string. We need um Game card no. It's common dot card. Okay. So now that's where that goes. Now we make a new place. Add new item. Graphics card sprites dot cpp. We're going to include graphics card sprites name space graphics card sprites. We're going to just take the thing over from combat deck. As we can see, right? Okay. So where's the get sprite for card? Put you, let me put you here. But we don't have card sprites here. Card sprites is here. Big, long, declarative list of stuff. Oh, that's right, it needs, I don't have map. Let's bring in map. So everything's fine. And we'll find out where we broke that. Okay, there are a couple places. Really, you're called graphics uh, card sprites we don't know about you card what you must be a header file I don't know about so there's 
that one, and then play combat result. We're going to need that one as well. Lots of graphics, cards for graphics. build and check that it works it builds building is good right okay let's get in here grab our food and jewels Ooh, get some coffee while we're at it there's monsters in here right Okay, for a second, for a second. Okay, so we do have cards. Yep, cards work. Okay. Moved card sprites into their own module. So I got through combat deck. We still have this as our big hawking <laughs> list of things. Yeah. But so all that this thing deals with is here's a deck of cards. Here's the current card. Here's the next card. Here is oh, the, the deck itself takes care of that stuff. and determines is the guess correct. So this is all business rules regarding the combat deck. So, what is, did I change white space? Huh, limited white space. Okay, we're, we're fine, okay. Moving on to game.cpp. What does game.cpp do? It brings other stuff in from brings all these resets. Mm -hmm. So really, this is just the overarching module coordinator. That's what this does. And that's fine, right? It's fine. Don't know if this stays here if it goes someplace else. Not sure yet. But all right. So this one grabs the creatures, and this has the disc. Ooh, okay. All right, all right. There's there's some stuff going on in game dot creatures. And actually, let's um, change. For a clean slate. I need a clean slate here. Because here's some stuff. Okay, so there's this comes from the descriptor. The maximum health comes from the descriptor. The attack. That and the other br the bribes. And this is an instance. How much health he has is instance plus descriptor. Is he dead is also instance plus descriptor. 
do damage. That's instance. Remove the instance and advance the instance. So yeah, okay, and then this is well this is instance says. And that's this is descriptor only. So here is the the some some nastiness and some sna real snarl in what we got going on here. So let's let's move up the descriptor. It's the stuff that is descriptor only. Do the we'll do the stuff that's descriptor plus instance kind of in the middle. Okay. So basically, do I want? to because this all sucks this is very primitive stuff so I was like oh give me the maximum health the minimum health and whatever right do I want um, do I want the concept of all of this coming coming back because generally speaking I don't need the, all of the stuff so let's say I need I have a have a descriptor let's go with a let's go the struct right let's go the struct and we have an std string um string image ID right we have an int uh, maximum health int attack int defend oh, small letters a D int food bribe int money bribe Right, so let's say we put all this in the struct, right? Uh, let's instead of this, we're going to say there's a descriptor. Or get descriptor for game creature. So that's, let's let's attempt to replace all of this with this one function instead. Okay, so let's do all of that. Where's all the places where descriptors are? So we're going to get this descriptor, right? Right, right, okay. I mean, we're going to be copying a lot of stuff around. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Okay, we're going to return. We're going to construct this thing right in place, right? Let's get let's get what they all are in order. So we got all that.
PC. Okay. So the image ID is this thing, right? There's that. Come on. So the maximum health, which is down here someplace, is temp.value read location into temp. What is temp? Temp is using the creature. Alright. Alright. So any place where I see those things. Should just really be creature. All right, let's do that. Come on. Oh, not a, not a function. Okay. So that's our maximum health. And then attack. So it's, that's just attack, defend, food. Okay. So the rest of these are pretty straightforward. Attack, defend, food bribe, and money bribe. Attack, defend, food bribe, and money bribe. Okay. Right. Right. So we return my descriptor with this stuff. That's going to be a copy operation. It's fine. It's fine. And th but then so all of these things though so that's getting that gets the descriptor for a creature that does not get a descriptor over here so let's do something kind of like this we're also going to call you get descriptor you're going to be an optional descriptor all right. So down in here, we just call you location. Okay. So little temp read location. And that's more or less this whole thing is going to be replacing that whole thing we're going to say return get descriptor temp dot value all right so we can grab the descriptor of whichever thing and we make sure that we can build and then we're gonna start we're gonna start making use of this so I've added the new thing that I'm gonna weave into the old function I'm gonna replace the old functionality and weave it in right Because what I want here is, well, let's start with, let's start deleting these and replacing them so we find out that these functions are never called. 
Okay, so auto creature creatures, get image. So creatures, get descriptor creature dot image ID. And then there's also this one here. Nope, that's it. Okay. It's one down. Do I still see the creatures? So that the test is if I still can see the creatures, and I can. So that works. Step two. So that one, I don't need that one anymore. Where is that one? That one's get image ID. You don't need to be here. Boom. Let's get rid of maximum health. Okay, a couple places. We're gonna say get descriptor dot value dot uh, maximum health, right? Yeah. Build it, and it'll be fine. Slowly but surely. We replace the code. Well, we, yeah, we, we, we shift over the code to the better code. Oh, it's get descriptor dot attack. descriptor dot attack so build it because yeah I knew as I was going along and adding all these functions that it's like I, don't know, I think it's a little too something a little too something Um, low level, that's the term. A little too low level. Do I really need a function for get food bribe versus get money bribe? And really I want one where it's like, is there, there's a get bribe, but that's a, that's a different refactor. Okay. And why do I do these one at a time? Why don't I just why don't you just yank out all three of those functions and just replace them? You should get food. You should eat something. Yeah, it's like lunchtime. Or it's elevensies anyway. <laughs> to get defend didn't do anything what so wait 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 what so get food bread wait a minute came down creatures no I want to just open you where are you So I don't, I don't have put, remove, read, maximum health should go away. Get attack should go away. Get defend should go away. 
Build, build. This should have a problem. Aha. Uh -huh. Got maximum health. doesn't actually have to be in that descriptor. It's a little early, but uh, these days, um, this week, I've got, uh, we're going, we call it training, I guess. It's not training. It is training. It's practicing our craft. Um, so we have sessions with making our designs more testable. And those start at noon because the guy who's running it, he's in California. Um, he's in California, and so he start, He goes from 10.30 to like 1.30. So he takes a late lunch, and so basically I have to take an early lunch. He's two hours behind me. And he's a... Now this is... Now making code more testable is something I practice every day. That's really what I do. That's really what my stream is about. Okay, so we do build. But I also take all of all of the people at my job <laughs> to get trained in doing this as well. And I get my company to pay for it so that we can make better code. And actually he's a he's a streamer. It's Jitter Ted. That's right. I, <laughs> all the people I know are streamers. And the people I work with. I basically know the people I work with and streamers. And that's that's all. Wonder if I would earn more if I was paid. You you might. You, you might. Well, I don't know. See now, oh, learn more. <laughs> Although earning more if you're paid, so there's there's getting paid and there's earning that pay, and there are days where there, there are some days where I feel like I'm just getting paid, not earning it. What's up, Dota? Speaking of the the class that I was just mentioning to Mr. Black Mage. Dota here is also in the class. No, but as 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 I have determined, the class is awesome. Um, but so um, there, there there's a mixture. There's a mixture of okay. You you take you take folks to Jitter Ted's class, and that's that's the leading a horse to water. Well, look, this is a good thing to do and to know how to do and to practice. That's not the same as getting people to fully engage. So we've got people at our at our work who've engaged to various levels. But until you realize until you really come to that realization that you know what? All that code that I that I write is crap. Till you get to that point, you're not going to get you you you're you're stuck. You're stuck, and actually, the place you're, you're stuck. Bring it, I'm going to bring it out. Bring out the Dunning Kruger 
bring, bringing out the Dunning Kruger thing. Until you realize your code is crap, you are here. Here at the peak of Mount Stupid, you are confident that what you're doing is the right way to do things, and you, that you that you know what's going on and that what you're doing is best. Until you get past there, you are you are pretty close to you're closer to knowing nothing than you are to a guru. Uh, no, my my staff is not all senior level. Uh, most of them are. Oh yeah, at this point they are. Uh, they didn't start out that way, but they are. We are a very small team, and so as a result, everybody ha has to have grown a bit. Um, I will point. Okay, so you're you're familiar with Joe, right? Because Joel Joel will pipe up now and again. Uh, Greg is Greg is rather rather senior. Uh, Greg is. Was more experienced than me, and you'll you but you you will recall Joe. He pipes up from time to time. Uh, he doesn't have a degree. He's just been doing stuff. So that's a that's a so that's a thing. And the rest of them kind of stay quiet. <laughs> Although Brandon Brandon came in as an intern, and he has quickly um I would, I would say they're pretty much pretty much senior all senior staff at this point well i'm the one who talks the most most but i'm also um well i'm also me <laughs> so, so i'm not afraid no, the, the degree is an opportunity, is an opportunity to learn things. Or it's an opportunity because you can you can approach a degree as a here's here's a here's an opportunity to experience some things that will cause me to grow. But it's only an opportunity. Or it's an opportunity to go, oh, here's a syllabus. Check, 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 check. Done. Next one. So you can you can approach it from this is I can grow from this, or you can approach this as a I'm a factory worker and my job is to manufacture check boxes on syllabus syllabi syllabuses whatever whatever the plural of syllabus is. And I'm certain that you found people in your university experience going, ding 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 ding. Okay, I've got my degree now. Where where do I go to get the job that gives me all of the monies? And that's not really how it works. Because again, a university is just leading a horse to water. Boom. <laughs> Um, moving another one out. This is the explanation because you have engaged. You have engaged in a growth experience and they have not. So that's why. You you see the opportunity for what you you have. Right. Ooh, this is going to be interesting. Der. Uh, descriptor. Yes. Okay, now, number of lines is not a good indicator of anything other than technical debt. <laughs> I'll let you know. I'll, let you, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, size T amount equals this descriptor 
has value. I don't. I can't. I don't know if it's okay. Has value. Scripter. Dot value. Dot. Food bribe. And are those those exact same Yes, the um to write the the goal of code is not to write lines of code. The goal of of the code is to solve a problem. Right? And be very very similar I'm about to fix this up right here and you are a money bribe come on dot money bribe but code does not intrinsically solve problems if it did anybody could do it and actually, the consequence of code is not just that it solves a problem, it moves the problem around, moves the problem to something else. It has a cost. It solves the problem, but causes this other problem, which is that you now have code to maintain. That is the problem that, generally the problem that it causes. Which is why when I say things like, the, you, the first thing you have to realize is your code sucks. All right. Yeah, your code sucks and every bit of code that you add makes the code base worse. Once you're there, Once you're there, then we can get to work. And <laughs> we can do some things. And really, when they when they talk about uh, that, okay, there are okay. I'm gonna bring up uh, what's the name of it, uh, Dreyfus. Is that not it? Okay, Dreyfus squared. That's it. Never squared. No, find something. Okay, what you're doing now, Black Mage, because you're working in Unity. That's exactly the the thing. The thing about learning stuff is find something that you would like to do anyway, and then you won't notice that you're learning. Okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna talk about the Dreyfus square. See it here. Okay, so ignore this stuff here. We're going to talk about the different skill levels. And it's individual per skill. Per skill. Novice, advanced, beginner, competent, competent, proficient, and expert. And this is basically how they approach um, different, different things. And that's, yes, there's criticisms of the model, but it's useful. Like all models, it's useful to a point. The novice... And we'll go back to uh, Dunning Kruger. Go back here. And I use this one. I use this a lot. Beginner is from here to just about here. That This is, well, meh, most of the way up. 
and so that that this part is the beginner the advanced beginner is mostly here where you think you can do anything in the world with the skill that you've got you're wrong but you don't know it so advanced beginner starts here and then on the way gets right at the end of it so it mostly it's, it's mostly here 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 and it's like oh wait I'm a complete idiot and I have no idea what I'm doing boom now you're ready to be competent now you're ready for competence and then competence you're 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 stuck in here for a while and then pretty much right here where the line switches from from does this is basically a maximum there's a maximum slope like right here where it, where it peaks out and then starts to curve off that's the split between that and proficient and then once you're to the point where there's you have just internalized the thing that's when you're at expert and the only way to get to to the level to, to the level of skill is to practice it regularly and practice it regularly not just on what you're doing but practice it regularly um, outside of that if you want to consider it like um, how people who do marathons right there's the plateau of arrogance no it's uh, Arrogance is on a different graph. You can be just as arrogant as a completely independent. It's a completely independent line, and their arrogance has nothing to. Arrogance has nothing to do with uh, competence or confidence. <laughs> um, and I think that may that it although it might be a function of of youth so I do I do tend that I, I do notice that uh, younger folk have a tendency or have a greater tendency to be arrogant than older folk but I also have counter examples so maybe it has nothing to do with age either Get health, get money, but okay, I don't need these anymore. Well, a lot in a lot of cases, especially in in the various uh, in various uh, male dominated fields, especially uh, where where there's where there's instances of dude broism. The, the issue becomes um, that the younger younger guys are going to oh, I'm more awesome than you roll you know and then at some at some point uh, and and the older guys are just like uh-huh sure and then somewhere somewhere in somewhere in your mid somewhere in your 30s you either make the realizations like you know what I'm I'm not here I'm this is is it deer mating season do I have antlers is this is this what we're doing here is what uh, I could pee further than you there's there's no no look um that's <laughs> somewhere in there I I um, for the longest time, because my my skill level my skill level was typically pretty good my my as as my experience but you know I was able to do stuff. But as I was going along, uh, there was basically no respect, 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 no respect. No respect Forty suddenly respect. I don't know what happened there, but forty is the time so you had peak you had peak arrogance so fuel had peak arrogance at 35 to 37 um, 
Um, see, I've, there are plenty of times where I will, I will certainly come off as arrogant, but that is because I don't use. That's because of my lack of emotional intelligence. We're gonna put the, we're gonna just put that out there. It's my lack of emotional intelligence. So I'm gonna I'm gonna am gonna tell you, Evan. I'm gonna tell you, Evan. And I like you, Evan. I do. Um, you're kind of a punk. It's okay. I I like that you're a punk. I do. What is a raw? You're a raw guy. <laughs> But you are, and it's you're going you're going to face you, you're not going to be able to see it, but it's okay. It's okay. That you just got you you're going to work through that. You're fine. But you, it, it is it is very important to you, and, and I know that it's very important to you how much better you are than the people that you are are currently in university with. I know. I, I, I feel you. I do. I like being better than people too. So I'm just I'm just I I understand you. So no, it's I, I'm not I'm not saying you're wrong. You're not wrong. It's just where you're at. Yes, you would not have attitude in your name. Don't, it is not. It is not a criticism. It is an observation. But I leave it to you. If, so you pursue that if you want. If you don't, it is, it is your life, sir, and your and your set of consequences that you earn. All right. No, that's cool. I got. I have to. And here's here's the thing, like, yep, you think you're better than somebody else, and you know what? I'm going to tell you something else. Yes, yes, you think you're better than some than, than other people. You do. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, you're not supposed to show it. That's you're not supposed to show it. Um, hide it better. Basically, you have to learn to hide it better. Uh, and really, quite frankly, in within certain realms of skill and air, and technical areas, you are. So it's it's fine because people have different skill levels. It's fine that you're better that you're better than them at that thing. I don't know. Take take that for what it will. That, that's that's the thing. It's right. But there are there are places where you are absolutely lost. There are, and that's fine because you're not going to know everything. The, the hard part is realizing that me being an expert in my wheelhouse is better than other people's wheelhouse. When, when my wheelhouse is better than your wheelhouse. And it's not. Because you need all sorts of folks. And you got to cooperate with them. And work with them. And they have points of view. You know, they have points of view that are actually outside of your wheelhouse. And they are actually valuable in your wheelhouse. Because it doesn't matter what you're doing. You're writing code. You're writing novels. You're doing whatever else. They're all just feel just different ways that human beings do stuff, and the way human beings do stuff is pretty universal. No, the the exec say okay executives. You look at executives and go from 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 a technical mindset. This is from a technical mindset because you're. At the at the level of I write code, well I write code and it does the stuff and that's what makes the money. So I'm awesome, and you are. But that's at the tactical level, right? Tactical, and so the the problems that you're solving at the tactical level are very different. Uh, I'm at uh, I'm a manager, so I'm at the strategic level, but slowly lifting. The strategic level is okay. The, the tech level go, I we need to do this and this is a way to do this. And the strategic level is we only have so much stuff that we can do in a particular amount of time. 
So which things should we do? And that's a strategy. So that's the strategy, like plenty of times. There are a number of times when, actually not this week, but last week, I said, I told them, we're going to do nothing. We had a big DNS problem in the cloud. We're going, they're like, well, we could do this, and we could do this, and we could try this thing and try this other thing. I'm like, let the, let the cloud provider handle it. Totally research. Yes, fuel has a major point. And he won't agree with you. And, and, they're going to have some really great points. And you can learn from them. And they can learn from you. It's an opportunity. Again, opportunity for for you to go, okay, there's something this there's something that this person's experience has brought them that my experience did not bring to me. Uh, you have to sift through that because sometimes it's a, I got burned by such and such, so I just never ever do whatever. Some of those cargo cults don't uh, try to avoid cargo cults as much as you can. But yeah, no, that's that is absolutely the case. All right. What am I doing? I'm just faffing about and talking about things because people are around. Hi, hi, people. It's been a while since people have been around. It's not a jam game where we get to talk about coding. I like talking about the practice of coding. <sighs> right, but you won't be a beginner forever. Black Mage. <laughs> well, see, here's the here's here's the here's the choice. You get to choose. You get to choose. Oh, you know what I get to do? You know what I get to do? I just realized the other day, right? Uh, let's go to Twitch. That I had somewhere along the line, right? Uh, I got. Where is it? Where yet? There we go. Where I got some. There's that one, and a new. Oh, that's a llama, and I can do, I can do things. So I had more stuff to hand. I just, I never even look, right? I never look. So Dota and fuel, if you would, say something. Whatever, type something. So I can check that I did it right. There you go. Look at you. Look at you with your diamond. Look at you. It's a pretty shiny diamond. Because I wound up with like an ad. I had 10 for the longest time and then suddenly became 30. Well, Graham doesn't have one. Graham needs one too. There you go. There you go, Graham too. There you go. You get one anyway, Graham. You get one. You know, you don't you don't need one. You don't. It's like okay. It really is. Okay. It's, everybody gotta get the everybody's gotta get the grumpy grumpy game dev uh, logo tattooed somewhere. <laughs> the grumpy guy. The Grumpsters. So it's, it's it's Grumpy Grumpy Game Dev and his lawn ornaments. Congratulations, you are now my my lawn ornaments. Yeah, basically you hang out here long enough, and I'll 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 mod. I'll either ban mod or uh, VIP you.
There's no such thing as being on Twitch too much. What else? What else do you do with your free time? I don't go outside. I don't go places. Yes, you're, once you're a law and ornament, you're you're allowed on the lawn. Well, no, I I go out. That's not true. I that's I go outside to. You know, take the garbage to the front. Um, I go outside to mow the lawn, of course. Uh, I go outside to shake my fist at, at the kids. I don't. I must up my own kids. Um, take the dogs out. Bring the dogs in. I occasionally do have to go to a store to buy something or drop my children off someplace. But other than that... But okay. Uh, i got ten minutes left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play through and see if there any, any weird bugs show up. And if nothing else, I'm probably going to merge. You know, blah, get them. Ooh. You know what? Food bribe. There is, there is no point in wasting any sort of resources at all on a bat if I've got food. Uh, yeah, run away. Okay. All right. So everything seems to be fine now. Uh, some of the stuff that I'm considering about is a um, couple people, but including Wormius. Giant purple stigma. <laughs> so all these things, right? They all come from uh, they all come from game icons. What was it? I think that one's called Minion. Yeah, Evil Minion. That one's called Evil Minion. Right, and so he's only he's just one. So even when you break him apart, if you break him apart, oh, there's actually three. Oh, I could have given him red eyes. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. I think I would don't give the red give give the evil minion red eyes. It's on the list. Uh, give the evil minion red eyes. It's it's gonna happen. Okay, what do we do with beer? We drink the beer. Why, why do we drink the beer? Because it makes us better at fighting. Aw, oh, really? Trolled. I got potions. Blunk, blunk. Oh, there he is. Yep. No, it doesn't really matter. Basically, yeah. Here's the guy with 50 hit points, and he's got different attacks and whatever. But I don't show that information here. <laughs> you haven't asked the question, like, why are there why are there burgers on the dungeon floor, and is that safe to eat? Like, no, it's really not. Really, three nines in a row. Ah. Uh, Oh, oh, deck of cards. Of course. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, good. Coffee. Why did I drink the coffee? Because it boosts my defense. <laughs> hey, man, burgers. But yes, as with all things, uh, higher, ah, oh, higher, lower, 
higher. All right. I'm gonna food bread you. Bye. What do I have for is it freebooter? Is that where I have it? Yeah, I got it. So yeah, any anybody with a Windows box can play this game. I did use freebooter. I'm like, eh. Food by them. Bye. And up, oh, food bread. Bye. Uh, run away. Okay. I think I ran on. So, ooh, lower. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do I got for? What do I got for stuff here. Uh, okay, I got one hit at 50, and then, you know what, I might be able to make it through. Game, this game is alright, and it was, it was done in a week. It was done in a week for a game jam. Oh, I need to drink some wine to buff my attack. Wine doesn't have quite the same effect as beer, but... Well, and because now I found this community of people who do games with this sort of, with 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 this kind of perspective on stuff. Let me let me give you the. I think that's the one, and then if you go to the entries page, you'll see there are 85, 85 entries in that jam. Ooh, need me a potion here. Another potion? Boom. Aha. Ah. Oh. <laughs> um. Yeah, well, something about feedback. It's actually all about feedback. Which is why... Uh, it's one of the reasons why I stream so I can get some feedback. Because otherwise, I think I'd just go play... Well, on Twitch, you sometimes just do play video games. But I would... I've, I'm able to focus on stuff. Because... I'm like, well, somebody might watch. Oh, good. I blocked, but that was my last block. Okay, so what have I got for my... I've got food and jewels. Well, I might as well eat some of the food. Get myself back up to 95. Well, I don't think I'm going to live that long. Do I got I can I can money bribe him. Bye. Good, good coffee. What do I got for I can I can deal with a potion again? Eek new no, here. We are well, Ooh. Uh. do I have any? I have no more potions, so this is. We're just gonna go out with a blaze. So it looks like everything's working fine after all my refactors. Gonna die anytime now. And yeah. 
All right. That's good. Let me get committed. What? Uh, consolidated. Validated creature data, feature data into um, descriptor. Commit. And now we push. We do the push. We got. To, I've got to wake people up. Take dogs out. Blah 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 blah. So it is time. The time has come. We got. Unless Black Mage is going to stream or Graham is going to stream, don't know. What well, we got? He's been going for two hours, but he's probably going. Oh, you can't. Dead tired. Well, yep, here. It's that time of day. Gonna raid Napogo. Napogo swears. All right. If you, I, I've raided Graham. Napogo's got nothing on Graham. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much for hanging out, my little lawn ornaments. And I shall be back tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's not that Graham swears. It's Graham, Graham speaks Australian. <laughs> which has more, which has more square, which has more swear words per square meter than other, than other variants of English. He, sp he speaks his yes exactly. He speaks his mind. Get off my line. 